Hey y'all, I hope you're having an amazing day today and thank you so much for stumbling onto my YouTube channel. My name is Giovanna and today I will be sharing my work from home setup. <laughs> I've been doing work from home for a little over a year now and I feel like I finally nailed it down to a setup that's very efficient and effective for me. Um, but I'm very thankful and grateful for the space that I have created for myself now. And I hope that some of you can take pieces of it away and hopefully this can assist you in creating your own work from home setup. Uh, so let's jump right in and start with the tour. So this is an overview of my setup. I'll start with the very top. Uh, this is clock is from Home Goods, and I have two acrylic shelves which are very poorly decorated, but I did what I did with what I could. Uh, and the, those two are from IKEA. Um, the desk itself is also from IKEA, but the legs are from Amazon. But I'm sure IKEA has similar legs. I just couldn't find them when I was picking this desk up in particular. Um, that chair is also from IKEA. I got it from the clearance section. Don't sleep on the IKEA clearance section. This chair I got off of Amazon, and I would honestly rate it a 6 out of 10. It's not a revolutionary chair. It's not super amazing. It's all right. It does the job. You can sit on it and that's really what matters. What I dislike about it is that it squeaks from time to time. It's not insanely comfortable and there's not a lot of back support, but it really does the job and I'm okay with it for the time being. I've also seen a lot of similar chairs at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Ross, so I would definitely check those places out before purchasing it on Amazon. So I'm at my desk now and I'll start off by showing you my keyboard. This one in particular is from Artec and I got it off of Amazon. I had a different keyboard in the first half of work from home, so I used to have a Logie keyboard and it was from Target, which I also really liked. I just happened to have spilled my coffee on it and I switched over to this one, got a warranty, and I feel like I'm set. Uh, what I really like about this keyboard is how thin it is and how quiet the keys are. So I also like how it has the number pad, which is very important for the work that I do. Um, it has the pad here with the arrows and it has, of course, just the regular keys, um, which I really enjoy. Next on my desk is probably one of my favorite parts of my work from home setup is my mouse. I know, hear me out. This mouse is special because it has this button in the center of the mouse that allows you to configure it to whatever keys you really want. I have mine configured to control print and that's been really useful for my work. Um, but I've also really liked other features um, such as the scroll and on just the regular scroll which scrolls really fast and it's a little never ending but I've really enjoyed that for very large Excel sheets um, and spreadsheets that I've had to work on. Um, on the same note, I've also enjoyed this side scroll which allows me to scroll to the side on those Excel sheets and such. So I've really liked that and just the overall feel of this mouse has been really nice and I've really enjoyed using this mouse. It's also wireless um, so that's always a plus. Less wires and less mess. The next part of my desk is my mouse pad and what I really like about this mouse pad is that it has some wrist support and I've, of course I spent hours and hours sitting at my desk so I try to be as conscious about my posture and about the ergonomics of my setup and especially my wrist I try to be careful with, my hands in general. Um, so I've really enjoyed using that mouse pad and I would definitely purchase it again. Sorry, my cats are having a whole conversation on the side. I will wait. Next on my desk is this phone stand that I got off of Amazon and I really liked it. Um, reason being is because you can move the height of it so you're able to select your optimal angle for Zoom meetings and FaceTime calls. So I really enjoyed using this. I also just like to watch um, YouTube videos or like I like to put recipes on my phone while I'm cooking and it's just very helpful to have this. So I definitely recommend this for your desk setup and just generally for life. Next on my desk is uh, my two journals that I use for very different purposes. This one is for taking notes during meetings, jotting down ideas or any thoughts I have throughout the day. And this one is my bullet journal, which I use to plan out my week at the beginning of the week. Um, and I plan everything out pretty much in this bullet journal. I plan my workouts out, I plan my job, I plan my YouTube and just my free space. Um, I even plan at the beginning of each month, I have a whole setup. Uh, so I've been using this bullet journal since the beginning of the year and I'm really proud of myself for keeping up with it and I've really enjoyed using it thus far. 
The next part of this work from home setup that's been absolutely crucial to the success that I've had with this setup is this 2015 MacBook Pro that I've had since I graduated high school and it's been a fantastic investment ever since. It carried me through college and it's now carrying me through my adult life and my nine to five, eight to five life. So I have this connected to this LG screen via HDMI cord and this LG screen is huge and I've really enjoyed using it um, because it really allows me to have multiple uh, workbooks and spreadsheets or documents all in one screen. So that pretty much wraps up the essentials for my work from home setup. I do however want to add a couple of accessories that have really assisted in creating the overall work from home environment. Starting with some blue light glasses. These ones in particular I got off of Amazon and I really enjoy using these and I really do notice a difference when I do and don't wear them. And I would highly recommend using them if you're working a desk job or if you're looking at screens all day. So 10 out of 10 would recommend these. Next, I recommend having some headphones. These are AirPod Pros, but I also have the headphones with the strings. Some other accessories that have assisted me really with my bullet journal and less with my work life is, is the colored pens and the colored highlighters. I get the hype and I've really enjoyed using these. It just makes it a little bit more fun and it makes it a little bit brighter so I invested in these and I really enjoyed using them to help me create my work from home environment and set up and just allow me to have successful weeks with color-coded agendas. I also recommend always having a water bottle or a glass of water near you while you're working from home. I have had a gallon water bottle before and I've also really enjoyed using that um, but I've just found that this just keeps my water at its optimal temperature which is at its coldest. So I really liked having this and I highly recommend having a water bottle. That wraps up my entire work from home setup. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye.